Rolling. Action. No, I call not you. Oh. Okay. Hello, first episode. Hello. So this weekend we are we will be very busy. Yes. This weekend we have my colleagues coming over to warm the house. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, Father Terence, which is the priest on the daily catch up. If you watch the daily catch up, um, will be coming to bless the house together with my family, because. I feel a little something something. Somebody sick. A little, Daddy cat. A, a little something something. So it's coming. Also, we'll be getting a private chef. Woo! Yeah, so I, I, I tell you more about some something in a bit. So by now, some of our house tours are published already. Yeah. We hope you all have seen it. Please watch. We also wanted to talk about like it, it's not that just we come into Southern Wind for or whatnot to get mm. this house, right? It was more of a decision we made when my sister, which is a property agent, shout outs to Nikki Chua. Chua. She opened us to the idea of selling our BTO mm. um, and use the, using their proceeds as some form of forced savings slash investment to get private property. The intention was to flip it at first. Like, mm. you know, stay five years, then sell, and then or something. But I don't think... Very hard la. Very I don't hard. know how I'm a good ah, here. Yeah. Um, how would you describe our Renault process? I would say that I was very prepared. Like, from our previous house, I know somehow or other we are going to move, right? Then I started uh, going to Pinterest, started creating mood board, and I know the colour that I wanted already, like neutral colour, cream. When I had to convey that to the ID, it was actually very easy for me. I even I, I just gave them my entire mood board, and Shuwen from r, &R did a very good job. So, I'll tell your story, right? I don't know whether I should say it here. On the first day we moved here, that night I remember feeling really uncomfortable so I couldn't really sleep. Mm. The layout of the bed, right, when I sleep, right, it doesn't face the door. There's a wall. Ah, uh, but when I sleep like that, right, and my head kind of poke out a bit, right, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like maybe I'm <laughs> facing the door. See, it's so young. Uh. Yeah, so that part made me uncomfortable because last time when I was younger, I remember that when I learned about cannot face the door, right, it's, it's just not good lah. What I heard was that, right, because it's as though you are sleeping in a coffin and facing- What the f Gate, like, you know. Why can't, why can't you sleep in a cot? Why must you- <laughs> They say coffin wall, and then like, you're going to get cremated like that. Very modern, I like that they updated <laughs> the law for new technology to come in. I feel like in an angle, mian chiang, a bit, I was facing the door. I felt really uncomfortable. The next day, Pat offered to change place with me because she know I didn't sleep well. And she said, you, you, last night you were snuggling with me, you were so cute or something like that. But then she said this thing that was really ominous. You keep snuggling into me as though you're afraid of something on the other side. That one, uh, my head stuck already. And so the next day, uh, she went to work, I was working from home. And I was sitting there and suddenly I feel a bit uncomfortable in the study, right? And then I felt my chair swivel. Like someone turned my chair. Somebody blew. I overdrive really. So that was when I asked my mom to come. So context, I grew up with this woman. Uh, this woman can see, can talk to them, can feel, can... Uh, my childhood damn scary. Uh. <laughs> so my mom came and I remember they just walked in, right? And then my dad went to talk to Pat, then they were doing stuff outside. But my mom just said, let's go. So it's just my mom and I walking around the house. I mean, never on like, it was like 7 p.m. already, like in the rooms. Lah. So we just walk in and stand in the rooms. Like the ghost detector. Like, uh, the like. like sneaky sushi. Lah. And then she walked into the walk-in wardrobe space. And then she said, He's here. We sit at St. Michael's Prayer, which is like a castaway demon, castaway devil kind of, and then we holy water that shit. Then we come out and eat. Then after dinner, my mum said, hey, hey, we go and check. So we just go and stand there, we off the light. Hey, we. Hey, you're, no more. You're eh. off the light, ah? I didn't know it. Eh. We feel la, we feel the place, ma. Oh. So then, then we didn't feel ready. And that is the real reason why we are inviting a lot of people to come our house tomorrow. <laughs> it's polling day, and today is also the day where um, Mr. Jonathan decides to invite his whole office for um, a small house gathering. Today, <laughs> I'm going to review the secret recipe to my cha bi hoon. It's a very simple cha bi hoon, okay? I, I, I just added all these processed food in, and then uh, it happened to be a bit nice, la, quite nice, la, right? Nice. So Pat is cooking the ngot now. Yeah, need to dice it. Also, we have bihun which has been which we soaked, soaked before we went out. You gotta remember to cut the bihun. The last night I helped her, I never cut. So then one strand is about four kilometers. You gotta reach this strand. <laughs> okay, some of the ingredients other than luncheon meat, I have eight spicy pork cubes, the mock abalone. I'm gonna fry the luncheon meat first because uh, I want it to be crispy. So I will fry first and I'm gonna put it aside. So for the eggs, I'm going to add sesame oil. 
agar-agar one lah ha white pepper also agar-agar mixed I have opened up the pork cubes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shred them even more. Then I can start cooking already. I'm using the same oil that I used to fry the luncheon meat. And I'm going to add 2 teaspoons of garlic. Actually not really, lah. it's quite a lot lah, because my husband really loves garlic. Let's go. Next, we are going to add the spicy pork cubes. This is how many cans? This is 2 cans. 2 cans of bar thing. Why it's looking like that, you must be asking. Why are you adding egg into it? Mm. Add only. Why? Just add. To save time, yeah. <laughs> if you don't hurt yourself, you're not cooking. You are not cooking. Okay, so you just try and separate the pork cube as much as uh, from the from the eggs as much as possible. But if cannot, never mind. Just also just mix it in. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Drain the bibun. When you know you're about that, stop. stop! Because you need a bit of water in your food, yeah? Yeah. Then you just throw everything in. Oyster sauce. Add your pepper. Soy sauce. The purpose of the soy sauce is actually just to wash the spatula. Okay, then you start stirring them. We're gonna add two cans of the mock abalone. Okay. Just pour everything, including the sauce. You need a lot of strength for this, yeah? See? Mm. What, what you want to do is also to make sure the noodles are all over the counter. <laughs> okay, taste test. Fuck up. 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 And that's how you make cha bihun. And so now, sa, I'll be making chicken sausage. Aliyo, aliyo. Oh! Hi, Pet! Hi, Pet! Hello! Hello, Pet! Hello, Pet! How's warming? Hey, everyone, come to unit number. So, TK oh. people, if you want to see John and Pet's own version and their own POV, you can go yes. check out their content on their own channel. I went to the showroom and they have all the different types and many of the fan is like those blow down and you know that your hair will fall 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 Master Chef So the current situation is that I think I don't have a Hi, you tried already? Oh my god, that's a lot of fun I never cooked this one before, I always cook for two person That's quite nice eh Yeah, I'm like, how? Is this normally your best dish? No, my best dish is a steak Ah And or roasted pork Oh no, that's not wrong yeah. Uh, somebody is here. Open the door. You know, pull your hand behind. Put Hang on, I tried to figure out smart home. Oh, okay. Well, hey. Oh, it's hey. 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 Hello. Are you Why the you? only ones here? No. no. Why are you wearing sunglasses? I want to look like Xiaoming today. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Sorry. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday! <laughs> you know it's a study? Hey, the lemon wash is so nice. Uh, no, this is not lemon wash and uh, if I write, it's supposed to be lime wash then. Sorry, lime it's wash lah. It's a texture cake. Lemon wash more yellow. <laughs> <laughs> this is apparently Pet's uh, special cha bi hoon, which we now have the uh, opportunity to try. Wow. And then, uh, don't overcook this pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Just now I taste a bit, no taste. Take over John Pet's channel, then we go around asking people whether they're subscribed. Will you subscribe? Two? No, just will you subscribe? Yes! Will you subscribe? I will think about it. Subscribe. One hub. <laughs> One hub. Eh? Okay. <laughs> will you subscribe? You need to I will. To Pond Hub. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have. No. <laughs>
We are blessing the house today and we have invited a private home chef to cook for our family after the blessing. So this is Chef Janice and she has come here to help us. Hi Fala! Hi Fala! The mum. <laughs> Don't give away the plot, Lex. But in heaven, look upon this family in your love and give them the blessing of bless the doorway of this house so that nothing harmful may enter through it. The spirit of a house blessing for Catholics, right, is not some like a evil spirit don't come kind of vibe. It's more of a blessing to invite God into our home. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father! Oh, so good! Bye. <laughs> All right, eating it over the white carpet. How do you feel? Oh, yeah. I've asked it. Oh, very nice. Huh? Very nice, huh? Oh, what flavor is it? It's chili crab. This is, I think, it's custard. With mushroom. Not nice, don't say it. Oh my god. Oh, nice, nice. Uh. Very nice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Easy. Yeah. Oh, I blessed the house already. Can you come and check? I'm on my way, bro. <laughs> <laughs>